Now I'm getting really excited. Oh, baby. Oh, okay. Y'all could have just told me that though. Wait a minute. What are we doing today? And I know, you're gonna be like, girl, it's fine. Like, what's the issue? Uh, Ooh, the way, girl. You gotta check up, check up, check up. Oh, that was, the keys were all over the place. You yeah, know me. Mm, everything is a song. But I wonder if I should go to the drugstore and get some more. It's getting very artistry. It's getting very artistry. <laughs> Who loves a fall makeup look more than I do? I don't think anyone does. I've done them in the past. It's been a long time. Let's do one in this video. Always follow me on all socials and make sure you subscribe here. Now I'm gonna be using an eyeshadow palette that I hope is still, <laughs> I'm so annoyed actually. Let me just double check. <laughs> It does still exist. I've done a video before and then later realized that the product was discontinued, irritating. I never got around to this eyeshadow palette. So I do have high hopes for how this is gonna turn out. Okay, I'm starting with the NARS Soft Matte Primer. If you saw the video where I did the wear test with this and the foundation, then you already know how I feel about it. I bought it, so I wanna finish it. You know what I mean? I am today going to put powder on top of this before the foundation. And let's see how that, how that fares for us. I'm putting this in the areas where I normally get oily. So this is not gonna be a moisturizer for me. I'm not putting it all over my face. Although I realize now that I took too much. <laughs> Ooh. This is a Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. This I like to use on top of makeup, but because it's right in front of me, I'm gonna use this before hand, but of course you can use Laura Mercier translucent, anything that's not going to give you color, although you could use a product that will give you color too. You know, it just really depends on what you're trying to go for because it would essentially be like putting on a powder foundation and then liquid on top. It's just a lot and you may not be into that. So to make things easier for you, just take something that's translucent. So we have now mattified everything. This looks so crazy, but we're gonna pull this together. I realize I've never tried this foundation. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airless Flawless Foundation. Stay all day and night. This is the shade 16 Cool. I looked at the other shade which I had, which was what, I think 15, and it was too light. I do feel like this is gonna match my skin tone in a way that I don't like, because normally, you know, I like to go a little darker because when I put the whole face together, it balances out. This, I think, will end up matching me on point. So we're gonna have to finagle everything as we go along with it. So this is a full coverage foundation with a flawless matte long lasting finish and if you've used this foundation i want you to comment and let me know you see what i mean i feel like this is going to match me too much okay okay a few things this is oh my god this is too light it's gonna work but it's way lighter than i like oh my god okay secondly this is what is this a cool i took too much <laughs> okay a lot of things happen right now this is cool it's looking very light it's looking red. I'm wiping off the excess foundation on my tissue. If you know me, we are going to make this work, but already I wish that this were darker. This is a Sigma Kabuki brush. Again, these paper towels come in handy. I keep them around whenever I do my face because I like to wipe off excess product when I just want to blend. Wow, I'm looking red. I like how thick and creamy the product is for sure. I gotta just find my right shade. Wiping off the excess blending into the outer parts of my face. If you have this and love this, let me know. It is looking full coverage. It is looking nice. Wow, okay. I like how it's drying down. Wiping off the excess to further blend into the hairline just to stipple it. I'm not trying to pull this back in any sense. Wow, I really do like how this looks. I just wish it was my shade. Hold on a second. I like how this is drying down. Okay, now I'm getting really excited. Oh, baby. Oh, okay. Y'all could have just told me that though. Or did y'all tell me? You might have. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Now, concealer, I have a few shades of this concealer and this one happens to be 15 deep. It's neutral. Do you see that undertone? So it's looking, I actually think that this is more cool. It's giving gray undertone. Let's see, what's going on with this 
cotton to you. It might be good because I'm so red. Wait a minute. What are we doing today? Like, where have I been? Why is this happening to me right now? Wow. I almost discounted her because she was looking real cool. The way she's blending in with this foundation. Uh -huh. oh, wow. If you've tried this concealer, let me know. This is the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. Look at the under eye. Look at that. You know we didn't use a radiant primer. It was the NARS, which we call it, and that wasn't even under the eye. Praise God, that was other places. Okay, I am loving how this looks, honestly and truly. The problem here is that because of the foundation shade and the shade of the concealer, <laughs> my concealer is not light enough, and I don't. You gotta be like, girl, it's fine. Like, what's the issue? Uh, I'm sure that when I set it with this black opal powder foundation, it's going to lighten it up because it has a yellow base. So there's that, right? It'll add to it, but I'm tempted to use a lighter concealer because it's looking very natural. It's just natural like I have nothing on and I want to look like I have something on. So we're gonna go ahead with this L Cosmetics chest, deep chestnut situation because I just need more. And because I'm taking a much lighter color, I'm really gonna focus it more in toward the nose. Do you see that? Oh, just gorge. This does not need, and I'm just blending the harsh lines if there are any. It doesn't need to go all the way up here. We ain't doing that today, you feel me? KBD Beauty, good apple situation. This thing is looking so, what well, some of y'all might say, toe up. It's looking real toe up, you feel me? And I am determined to use every last drop of it because girl, this stuff is good. <laughs> okay, here's the black opal powder foundation that I was talking about. Okay, gotta make this face. Gathering some, starting on the side. Try not to get this in my actual eye wall because I wear contacts. And if you do, then you understand the struggle of getting makeup on your contacts. Oh my goodness. If you wear contacts and have ever gotten makeup on your contacts, comment and let me know. Oh my goodness, we need to start our focus group. But look at that. Oh, it just lifts up the face. Yes. And this is the shade around the clay girl. Ooh, around the way girl. You gotta check up, check up, check up. That was all, the keys were all over the place. You yeah, know me. Mm, everything is a song. Okay, crazy. I'm just pressing, you know, pressing it in. And look at how it just isolates the nose. Woo! And I, I did take my contour down the nose, but still, it just isolates it. And I could do the pinch and get it, but girl, it's already so pronounced. We don't even have to do that. And to deepen the contour, this is a powder foundation too. Don't think that this is heavy. It's just giving more coverage. And I like full coverage everything. This is the Elf Cosmetics Camel powder foundation. The color is Rich 660M. And this is an LYS brush. And, oh, <laughs> that looks deep. Okay, so here we go again, because this foundation, wow, is so close to my skin tone and not as dark as I normally choose in a foundation. This contour and highlight contrast is looking very, very harsh. I always do a face powder, but this is one of the main reasons why I do it. Not only do I want more coverage, but I need to even all of this out. I could never imagine walking out like this. How be? Uh -uh. Patrick Star, turn up the base, dark 4G powder. This is another powder foundation. <laughs> Yo, saying it out loud makes it real. It's like, oh, okay. So you've just used three powder foundations. Understood. But here's the thing. My face doesn't melt. If you follow me on TikTok, which you should if you're not, then you would have seen me sitting outside in 90 degrees at my baby's soccer game with a full face of makeup. And I was sweating. But in the video, you ain't gonna see my face melting off, but my armpits were dripping. But I'm just, see how I'm just pouncing it. I'm not wiping anything. We're stippling it on in the same fashion. Love how fluffy this brush is. I always use it at an angle, so it has this natural angle, but that's not how it looks when you first buy it. This is great. I actually want like five more. This is a number 80 brush from Sephora. It is really, really good. I love this. We're going over everything with this brush to bring it all in. We're still gonna see the highlight because I used that light color to set it. So if you want your highlight underneath the cheeks to be less pronounced, don't use that product or use a product that is not so light. You feel me? This blush is new for me, Koki Cosmetics sent it. The shade Tender, it's a soft gradient blush. Ooh, interesting. I wonder how it'll look on me. Oh, it's giving sunset. 
Oh, gorgeous. I can tell just by looking at a blush whether or not it'll show on my skin. I just knew that this one would. Oh, this is nice. If you've tried this, let me know. I do see a lot of videos on Koki. Have I tried a lot from Koki? I've tried their pencils and then this. I don't know if I've tried Media Mascara, but I wonder if I should go to the drugstore and get some more. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see that. And if you have tried Koki Cosmetics products, let me know what you tried and what you like, just so I know what to look for. This is pretty. It's giving subtle and buildable for sure. Okay, now we are at the point where I do eyeshadow and I can't lie, I don't feel like going back to my studio to get the MAC Painterly Paint Pot that I always use. I'm trying something new because I am on a mission to do things differently. I'm cringing, but when I use color, outside of my soft glam look, when I use color, I don't ever use a primer like this. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. But I know a lot of you do. I know a lot of you do the concealer method as well. I'm just not used to that. That is not what I started doing makeup doing. So a lot of things I do just out of habit and comfort. So I'm not gonna do the concealer. I just don't want to. Let's see if this works, honey. This is a precision crease type brush. I'll link a brush set from Amazon that has a brush in there just like this. It's a $40 set versus you having to piece together all kinds of brushes that you see either me using or your favorite influencer using. I'll link that Amazon brush set below for you. So the first color that I use is right here. It's lighter than I would like, but it does have the tone that I like, which is a reddish color. Usually I like for this color to be a reddish brown, and I just like it to create a little bit of a sunset at the top right here. But we're gonna go with what we have in this palette, okay? Remember when we used to talk about palettes that can give you full looks versus palettes where you may choose one or two or three colors from them? And there used to be videos where we would do our best to give you a full look with one palette. So of course you don't have to go and buy six different palettes for one look. Well, that's what I'm trying to do with this palette right here. Okay, okay, now that I've built this up, I hate it. I don't like that color for the, for the crease because it's not warm enough, but we are gonna figure this out. So now I'm going to go with this color right here, which is a little bit darker than what you see because you're seeing my lighting and settings. It's a little orange. I'm trying to get a sunset, although this is looking a lot lighter than I would need for it to be. Huda, why is this so light? Is this not made for me? Do you want me to put this down? You sent it to me. Clearly you want me to use it. <laughs> so what say? What say? What, what, what one? You feel me? Are these supposed to be colors for the lid? Shouldn't I have the option to put it in my crease if I wanted to? You might say it looks fine, but as an artist, I think this looks hideous. We're gonna bring it together. Okay, let's go with a little bit of brown. This brown is very, very dark. It's very cool. I normally like to build up my colors. I'm going lightly because I don't want to go black smoky eye right now. Now this is a brown, I get it, but it's so cool that it looks like it could be, it just looks so dark. It can show up black depending on how you build this up. Like look at that, I just did this twice. The pigment is obviously phenomenal. It's very dark and it can go darker, but I wanna go easy because I'm not sure what direction I'm gonna take this in. But look, I just added some more and this is really dark. <laughs> Okay, well this brown is great, Obvi. It can be used for a nice soft brown eyeliner as well. It's just not what I was going for. I do like to close this gap right here. I hate when there's a, oh, look at that, it's so beautiful. I hate when there's a gap between the beginning of the brow and the eyeshadow, ugh, gross. Okay, this looks so gorgeous, just right here. Patting that in now and then blending the rest. Keeping it right down here, we're isolating the crease color by finding out where our eyeball ends and where the brow bone begins. Right here is the crease, okay? So not the natural skin fold, but right up in here, honey. And that way we are opening up the eye. Do you see that? Putting some more here just because, honey. And then bring it in a little bit right here. It's getting very artistry. It's getting very artistry. All right, now we are not even seeing the sunset that I was trying to create because it's way too almost pastel. It's not warm enough. It's just not showing. But let's equalize this look out by putting the brown on the other side. I always tap off the excess. That is imperative. We do face, I do face first. Let me not add the we. <laughs> I do face first. So I do not have time for a product to be falling onto my face. Just not that kind of party at all. And I've never had that problem. I normally look down because I'm filming. I want you to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna 
have my head up a little bit, which is very risky. But when you do tap off the excess, praise be, you do limit the potential of the product falling on your face. So taking some, tap, 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 and let's close this gap. Ooh, that rhymed, praise be. Look at that. It just looks so much more mysterious you know, and then bring it a little bit into the nose. Not a lot, just a, I'm doing a lot right now, okay? You might not wanna do all this on a daily, but I'm literally going to soccer practice today and I'm okay with this. <laughs> this is my job, I don't care. Yo, people be, I know people be like, hey, where's she going tonight? Here, I'm coming here. I took some more of that red color and the orangey, trying to mix it and I don't like how it's coming out, so. For this position, I don't love those two colors. It's not warm enough. I want my crease to look like my blush, basically. If you pick your blushes the way that I do, you can certainly take your blush up to your crease and just make it all uniform. You can even take your blush and pat it onto your lips, put a gloss on top, maybe a liner if you want, and call it a night, and then you really will be uniform. The face will really all sing the same song. You know. Okay, now I want to lighten up the lid because that's always a nice look to really help. I don't be doing a lot of eyeshadow colors in the bathroom, so so I don't have the right brush for this. But we're gonna finagle it with this one, okay? Again, refer to my Amazon brush set. But uh, here we go. I am now taking this color. It looks very bright, but it's more beige. And I'm gonna open up the front of the eye, patting it on because I want the pigment to really be pronounced. Look at how that opens up the eye. It's creating a cut crease. Do we still do cut creases? I know some people do, but I I moved away from it. Not intentionally, it's just, <laughs> I, just don't, I just don't do it, like why? <laughs> but this is definitely giving us a soft cut crease look, but cheesy. I'm not gonna go all the way over because I am gonna warm this up. You know, you know how I usually do. Alrighty, honestly, just with a flat-ish, fluffy brush. I just brought the colors in. So it's making the nose look really narrow, dramatic, and in my opinion, really, really pretty. All right, and let's go with that reddish, whatever, and the orange color, just back and forth, tapping off the excess. And I wanna warm up this area here. And then we're gonna bring the brown over there also. You know, I love for my eyeshadow looks to have dimension. And if you haven't already, make sure you watch my video on five nude lippy combos that I ro literally rotate through. This pencil is in that video. And literally, I was gonna do a, lippy, a nude lippy, but I need to break free from that, hello. So in this video, we're gonna do an orange. I hope that this looks good. <laughs> this is a Sephora Collection lipstick. I love the tiger on it. This is a number 77. And I love that ASMR. Ooh, it's giving gold. Oh my God, I don't know how we're gonna like this. Ooh, it is a beautiful color. I just wonder if it'll go with this look. It's going to match my inner eye. And it's, ooh, it's a comfortable, oh my God, this reminds me of Lime Crime, Lime Crime Cosmetics, is that is that still a thing? Back in the day, Lime Crime was good and they had this yellow lipstick that looks like this. Wow, and it was, it was popular on IG and I bought it. Okay, definitely have to blend. This is matching my inner eye. <laughs> it's looking like a Fenty Mademoiselle lipstick I have. Pumpkin, pumpkin spice. Yes, this looks like pumpkin spice, which is discontinued. So grab this one if you liked pumpkin spice. Yeah, I've, I wore it before. And we're just like, where is the lippy? Where can I get it? And you couldn't. It's giving very Halloween. I don't do Halloween, obviously, but hmm, praise God. This look is giving very fall. This is different for me. The combination of this look is different for me, but I like how it came out. You have to let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe. And I'm gonna leave two videos for you to choose from to watch after this one, because once you watch one, you've gotta watch more. All right, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.